What is up everyone? This is Adventures in Bitcoin with your Bitcoin and cryptocurrency update for today, Thursday, August 2nd. Uh, somebody brought this to my attention recently that they're still waiting for the Bitcoin price to go up. And all I have to say about that is keep the faith, have a protein shake, get some meat on your bones, these memes never get old, these skeleton memes. Uh, things will turn around soon. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Keep in mind, all these people that got washed out here, ye of little faith. Uh, if you're still holding on, congratulations. If you still have faith in Bitcoin, which you probably do if you're watching this video, every time this thing tries to fall, there's a ton of buyers just buying it up. I am now, I know I've always said, you know, in the recent past, I've been liking Ethereum better than uh, Bitcoin because of all the things that Ethereum does. Uh, and I thought that Ethereum would lead the charge on the next bull run, but I'm starting to change my mind. And I'm glad I was able to pick up some Bitcoin a few days ago before this rally. And I think I'm going to continue to do that uh, based on a lot of reasons. Uh, mainly Ethereum, although I still like it, the price just is not looking good to me. The reasons why is you can see this red trend line I drew from way back here. Uh, it fell through it, but then it came right back and it was looking like it was going to form a support here, but it got denied and fell through. And then I drew this second green uh, trend line here or support line. And it looked like, you know, it did go through it a few times and it, it would always snap back to it. So it started to build a little bit of steam. That's why I drew this orange line here. But it just uh, it got denied there. And the next support level for Ethereum is going to be somewhere around 3, 380, 370. And it may break that. And if it does, it's going to go down to this, this Fibonacci retracement level, uh, which I'd be looking to pick up some at that price. That's going to be somewhere around 280, 300. And also, if you look at the RSI, the RSI also broke this trend it was trying to build. So just, you know, I'm not liking it right now in the short term. I'm liking Bitcoin more. It, uh, it broke through this significant, uh, the 618 Fibonacci retracement number. Uh, it looked like it was going to stay there for a while. I thought it might, but it, it broke through. And it found some support on this, this bearish trend line. Interestingly enough, if, if it breaks that, it's coming down to this yellow circle. Uh, and you can see down here the RSI is looking good. It hasn't quite broken this, uh, this yellow line I drew here yet. It may still, but hoping it, hopefully it will bounce off of it. And the other reasons why I'm liking Bitcoin is, and it's a gamble, is the, um, the Bitcoin ETF. Not the Winklevoss one but the Chicago Board of Exchange one, which may or may not be approved by the SEC. I'm taking the gamble that it will. Uh, there was some news about it. A lot of crypto investors are saying that it's unlikely for 2018. Maybe we'll see it in 2019. Uh, this article lists some of the reasons why. The Winklevoss Twins ETF was rejected, probably for good reason. The SEC is saying that, that, hey, we're not totally against an ETF. We just didn't like the Winklevoss ones. We feel it just leaves, you know, it leaves an open gray area for manipulation. Uh, they don't have a lot of liquidity on their exchange. Uh, so they didn't feel like it would be a good vehicle for the first ETF. But the Chicago Board of Exchange one, on the other hand, uh, is getting their website, the SEC website is getting flooded with comments from people supporting this. Uh, here's one of the comments here. Please approve this resolution as I believe that Bitcoin and blockchain technology can be a safe and effective method of cryptographically storing and transferring wealth. Uh, I won't read all of them here. You can go check it out. And I would recommend you go and leave a comment yourself in support of this if you want Bitcoin to do well this, this year or next year. Uh, this will bring a huge amount of liquidity to Bitcoin and it will 
I mean, the predictions are off the chart of you think 20,000 was high. So we have real liquidity where it's going to be supported uh, by not this guy. Where's the article? Right now, there's just too few vehicles for investors to invest in Bitcoin without getting involved with the sticky mess that we get involved with, with having to download wallets and transfer funds around and, and having to protect our assets from hackers. Uh, this would take all of that away. A Bitcoin ETF would further legitimize it as a asset class and uh, an investment vehicle and will likely, I mean, everyone agrees it will have a major impact on the price and the legitimacy and the liquidity of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So, but it is a gamble. I'm betting that they will approve it. And when it happens, Bitcoin will go up first. So when it does, I want to be ready. So I've been, whatever money I can dedicate to it, I've been buying a little bit here, a little bit there, building my position over time, which I think is the smart thing to do. Uh, Ethereum I look at as sort of an index fund for all of the alts, all right? Because you got Bitcoin, it's kind of in a class by itself. And then you have the altcoins, which is in a class by itself. And I look at Ethereum like an index. It's not an index, it's Ethereum. It's its own cryptocurrency, but just because of the market share, uh, I look at it as an indicator of what the alts are doing. Just like kind of how the NASDAQ is with tech stocks, you kind of look at the NASDAQ as an overall view of what the tech stocks are doing. Of course, a, a stock here, a stock there will go up, some will go down, uh, but the, uh, the index tells you the overall direction of, of, the, of the sector. So when I look at Ethereum, I kind of, without having to look at every single one of them, I look at Ethereum and to give me an idea of how the alts are, are doing in the mind of investors. And the price is not, it's saying that it's, it's not looking too good. So and if you look at some of the other major ones, EOS is not looking good, XLM, Cardano, you know, it's right at its bottom here, its long-term bottom. Tron, and these are, these are major coins that have great projects, great teams, and a lot of positive news, a lot of partnerships uh, coming forward, like uh, Tron. Tron has this uh, announcement that it just came out, Project Atlas, which they feel will allow Tron to surpass Ethereum on daily transactions and make it the most influential public blockchain in the world. Time will tell, but they announced this recently. They're going to release more details uh, at the end of the month. So this project is supposed to integrate with BitTorrent and actually uh, reward users for seeding torrents, which is something that's never been done before. So that would be cool to see. Uh, as you know, if you follow my channel, I'm, I'm, I've been really liking Tron lately but the uh, the price is just getting beaten down so, so I would not be buying into Tron just yet or at least adding to my position in Tron first want to see Bitcoin start to take off money usually finds its ways into the altcoins in other news Verge was recently added to Pundix Pundix is a, uh, a POS or um, a point of sale system that accepts cryptocurrency and uh, so they're going to be adding Verge to the list of cryptocurrencies that you can buy. Uh, they just shipped out 5,000 POS devices to businesses uh, all across the world. So a lot of these stores will be able to start accepting cryptocurrencies and no matter what cryptocurrency you're holding on to, because uh, they keep adding more and more every day, you can do that natively without having to transfer it back to Bitcoin or, or uh, fiat, which is pretty exciting. We're now starting to see crypto being used to make sales in regular retail stores. NEO is another cryptocurrency that, you know, had in its heyday back in January, December, this was a $160 coin at its peak. Now it's down to uh, $28. So you can pick up NEO real cheap right now. 
Uh, NEO is a cryptocurrency uh, that's going to compete with Ethereum, has the smart contracts. It also, holding the coin enables you to earn gas rewards, which is another cryptocurrency that you can, it sort of makes it just by holding it. And you can sell it right now for $8 per gas. So, and if you look at the history of gas, the height, it was, uh, I want to say $71, almost $80 back at its peak. So the more, tr the more NEO that you're holding, the more gas you will earn each year. So why not buy it while it's cheap? As you know, I really like the passive income part of cryptocurrency. Uh, a project I, I like is, um, is Monkcoin. Uh, in regards to Monkcoin, let me show my wallet here. I got the new wallet running. And I earned my first, you know, on the new blockchain because they just upgraded. Uh, we just did a coin swap, which went pretty smooth. Uh, I just earned my first reward, which was 0.15 Monk, which is the lowest I've ever seen. I'm not sure why it's so low, but uh, we'll have to keep you posted on that. The other uh, one that someone asked me to look into is LindaCoin. LindaCoin is just like Monk. It's, it's a cryptocurrency that you can send back and forth. It also is going to be having a mobile wallet. It's a proof of stake and a proof of work coin. So it's sort of like a hybrid deal. Uh, it enables you to the more the more Linda that you're holding, the more you can earn. They're going to be launching another blockchain called Linda X, which is going to have an exchange built into it. It looks the project looks really interesting. It's it's very exciting. Uh, I looked into it in in detail the other day. I like this project. Uh, the team looks great. They, are, they seem to be hitting their targets. The one thing that I didn't like about Linda, uh, as opposed to Monk, uh, the pros and cons, I should say. Uh, if we look at Linda here, go down to markets. The pro is it has a ton of exchanges, so that it's liquid. The highest being Cryptopia. Monk, as you know, was just removed from Cryptopia. And they're working on some uh, some other exchanges, some new exchanges. Uh, right now, there's only one exchanges one exchange that is listed on, which is which is not great for liquidity. If you want to sell it, it, it did affect the price. Uh, but the one negative thing is it's got 30 billion max supply, with a circulating supply of 9 billion. So there's a lot of coins out there, as opposed to Monk, uh, which is very low supply. So as you know, supply and demand. The, the less supply, usually the higher the price. Monk's actually up today, uh, almost 6%. So yeah, that's a big difference in supply. So if Monk can get on some more exchanges, you know, crypto, Cryptopia is gone, so it's just Crypto Bridge for now, then uh, I think that this price should, should increase significantly. The Linda coin, what was it? I think it was like, couple of cents yeah it's not even one penny so you know hopefully maybe they'll if I don't know if they have a plan of burning some coins or what the deal is with that but if we can get the supply down hopefully the price will increase but you look at these things more for the passive income aspect of it the fact that it's going to generate more of itself that you can sell that's what I really like about it. So that is it for my update for today. Have a great day. Have an even better weekend. And we'll see you on the next video. Stay profitable, my friends. Peace.